Hey, third and fourth. We're gonna do something different today. Um, this is gonna be the artwork that the third grade is going to use for the art gallery that we're gonna have, the art show that we have at the end of the school year. So if you have really good paper that doesn't have any lines on it, that's what you want to use to do our drawing on. Fourth graders, you can use whatever paper you have available. Um, we're gonna draw with a marker. I have a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie, just a black marker will work. Um, and we're gonna add a little bit of crayon this time, but not a lot. And after we add our crayon, then we're going to watercolor it next week, okay? Don't watercolor it today, next week. If you don't have a tray of watercolors like this, it's okay because you can use, I just had a red marker, good grief. You can use your Crayola um, washable markers like they're watercolors, and I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So we'll use either the tray and a paintbrush or the marker and some Q-tip next week to paint, okay? But today we're gonna draw an owl on a tree limb, um, and I want everybody to do it together, um, both grades, just because, okay? And we're gonna start by doing its feet like an uh, uh, like a W. Nope, wait, what did I do wrong? There we go. And then we're gonna draw a wavy line with a bump for the stick to kind of have a little bumple where he's holding on to it so tight. And then again. And then if you want to add a tree limb sticking up, you can. You don't have to, but you can. Um, and then I'm gonna put some leaves on my tree limb. Okay. So this is our first. If your W's don't touch, go ahead and draw them where they touch. I didn't meet mine. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up um, to the top part and we're gonna start doing his face. We're gonna do a face that looks almost like this foot did, but only one, like a V. And so it's gonna come in like a point and then back out, okay? Then we're gonna draw a small circle. This is the inside of his eyes. A bigger circle. This is the colored part and where the light shines on that colored part. And then a bigger circle. And this bigger circle, we're gonna color in black because owls kind of have dark, dark feathers around their eyes. So if you've got a marker, it'll color quickly. If you're using something else like a crayon or a pencil, go ahead and shade it in. Um, marker, black markers are the best when we add, like, especially the Sharpies. And if you don't have a Sharpie, a uh, crayon is the best because when we put watercolor on it, um, washable marker is gonna bleed. So if I use like a black Crayola and then I put water on it, it's gonna go everywhere and we don't want that to happen so um, I wish I, I should have said that at the beginning and I wasn't thinking I'm sorry so um, if this is what you've got and you want to go stop your video right now and go get a new piece of paper and then a black crayon to do um, this part go ahead and do that I should have said that and not just any marker it's my mistake and I'm so sorry we're gonna keep going though um, once you come back and you turn the video back on, I'll be here giving more 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 uh, directions on the on the artwork. So we're gonna do the little part of the eye, the bigger part, and the part where the light's shining, and then the biggest part that's gonna be black also. Come in and color in the center, and color in the outside. And this is probably the most coloring we're gonna end up doing today. 
Um, we're going to come back and add color to this before we watercolor next week. We're going to use some crayons to do what's called watercolor resist. A watercolor resist is a technique that we use to put um, tell the watercolor where we want it to go and where we don't want it to go. And wherever the crayon is, the watercolor won't color in. Okay? So like this little spot right here where the light's reflecting, um, we're gonna do, a, I'm just gonna show you for an example. We're gonna put in like a little piece of white right there, just on that white part. And you can't see it now, but when we come in and so we paint your eye a color, like maybe green or blue or whatever color we choose for his eye, um, this part won't take, it won't get the color and it'll stay white, okay? Next, we're gonna kinda do a diamond shape to make its beak. We're gonna put two little nostrils. And that's all we're gonna do for our face, okay? Now we're gonna make his ears. He's got, they're not, they're, his ears are kinda big like horns and everybody said, oh, like Batman or like a cat. And yet they're kinda like those. And you don't think of a bird having standing up ears, but owls do. Okay. If you mess up a little bit, it's fine. When we color in with our crayons and our paints, nobody's going to see it. Now we're going to do we're going to do something else. I want you to come down to the bottom, and I want you to put a point. This is where his tail is going to be. So we're going to start the point and come up to the outside of his foot. And then go back to the point and come up to the outside of the foot. And then the next line we're going to do on this side is going to make it look like this line went through it, but we're not drawing through it. And we're going to connect all the way up. Okay? So again, we're going to look here. We're going to guess where that line would be on the other side. And then connect it all the way up. Okay? Down here at his tail, we're going to also make some lines that are called rays. A ray is a line on an angle that could be part of a circle. But this is going to make it look like he's got some tail feathers going on back here. Okay? Then we're going to give him his wings. If you drew a super skinny owl and you don't have room to put wings on the inside, you can make him look a little puffier by drawing your wings on the outside and making your line go on the outside. Okay? So, like, if I decided I wanted him to be a little bit chubbier, I could come over here and draw it more on the outside. And it looks just fine either way. Now, we're going to come over, and we're going to give him the top of this eyebrow-looking-like piece of him. And we're going to add color in that next week. We're going to do some feathers that are sticking up. And then we're going to do some feathers kind of going around wiggly on his tummy because an owl's tummy is white. Okay. This is as far as we're going to get today. Next week, we will add crayon. We will add watercolor, okay? But put it somewhere safe so you can find it for next week's lesson. If you were here in my classroom, I'd put it up in a box and save it for you. But you're going to have to keep up with it for next week. I will talk with you next week. Oh, don't forget to send me a copy of what you've gotten done so far, okay?